You're going to demonstrate how to install uh, these ceramic ridge tiles. We're using a uh, material from, uh, where is it from? Uh, it's made in Holland. Can you just show us the, uh, the substrate under the, the tiles? We have this, uh, first this is like a one and a half by, this is a one and a half by one and a half with a, a V groove cut in it. And that's nailed down, or screwed down with three inch screws, you said. Right, screwed down uh, all over the hip. The notch is just to get it down over the hip a little bit neater. Okay, and then that's covered by a second layer of uh, inch and a half by inch and a half. And that would be, depending on the, the tile, uh, some tiles maybe take a little less, so one by or just a piece of lath. I see. So once you've got the first one down, you, you measure and you can determine what right. the second one. I just try to carry the tile slightly over the slate so that the, the material, the flexum, is kind of in a consistent. Uh, okay, and uh, and this this top piece is also screwed down. And uh, the tile is nailed with a copper nail. Uh, and it, Basically, it's the flexum that holds the tile in place. Uh, I would say it does 90% of the job. Okay, so uh, let's let's have a look at that. Blue gloves. Blue gloves. I normally cut them all on one side, spin the whole box around, cut them all the other side for that. And you say this is uh, like a styrofoam beads and a some kind of rubberized, some kind of rubberized linseed compound, linseed uh, matrix of some kind. You always want to look for fresh stuff. This is slightly, could be a little bit fresher. You should be able to get more residue on your hand than that. And they are dated. They're dated, okay. And freshness is fresher the better. Sometimes you open one up, you can literally bounce it off the roof. You don't want to use that one. Show us the board while we. He's made these boards out of plywood and uh, foam. The plywood is glued. The foam is glued. That's what one inch foam. Uh, yeah. Glued with a spray-on uh, adhesive, and uh, seems to work quite well for. Uh... Okay, you've cut that in half. I draw lines on here where the tile was. I put all the tile on, yeah. mark the tops, figuring out a nice uh, layout so you don't have a short tile anywhere. Okay, you lay them dry first. Tip it over at an angle, plumb. And you just laid those pieces up on their edge, push them down in. Put the tile. You have a mark for each tile, the top of each tile. This you can use to dress up some spots that might need it. Sometimes where the overlap is, you need to put a little extra in there. Try to keep this off the tile because it is a stain. If you're on ceramic tiles, you almost probably want to tape this off. That's how, how it can be uh, 
very unattractive. The homeowner goes up there and sees it. application I put a little extra there because when I dress the front then I clean it all up afterwards. So this eliminates the need for mortar altogether. And it stays flexible throughout the life of the product. There's no cracking or Would you say 20 different colors? Uh, 12, 12, 12, different 12 different colors. So this color here blends in really well with this tile. Looks like it works easily with the Redland tiles. I think the main reason for this here is the bats and stuff down there end up living inside of here and other critters. Here's the finished job there. Here's the finished hip over here. There's a beautiful rounded valley that, that Ray did. As long as we're up here looking at the roof. Chinese multicolor. Slate. Three inch headlap. These are the uh, tiles waiting to go on. He has a mark for each, the top of each tile. You can see it right there. And another one up there. The 20 inch tiles with a 16 inch exposure. So they're overlapping four inches. And uh, that's it. Now that's one, one done, huh? You're done. Take these off. Trail cleans up the rag. <clears throat> and what about, does this stuff tend to dry up? The leftover stuff? Do you have to hurry up and get the next piece on? Or? Uh, oh no, you got all day long. Really? Yeah. And if there's some left over from the night before, uh, I mean, you can save it overnight. So you can. Pack it up. If you pack it up well, yeah. Really? So, Amazing. But uh, two days, you'd be pushing your luck. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. So no mixing mortar, no, no hauling mortar buckets. Uh, and uh, what happens if it gets rained on? Uh, it's, it, it's waterproof, completely waterproof. Really? Yeah. It's not going to leach or no. stain the roof? No, or? no, yeah. It's wow. It's oil-based product. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Ray says uh, he uh, calls out about 30% of those Chinese slates and uh, he says it's an animal of a slate, quote. <laughs> <laughs>